Hey everyone, and okay, this is going to be really different because I'm actually listening to music while I'm doing this, and it's really weird because I might lose track. I'm going to try to do this because I need something else going on in the background instead of just silence. So, this topic of my video is how I view deities or the gods and goddesses in my practice, and especially during rituals or spells that I cast. Um, well, starting off is I usually mostly only deal with deity, my deities on my altar when I want to pray to them or when I do my spells or rituals. I usually, in almost all my spells, I keep one particular god or goddess pertaining to that spell because I feel like it puts more individual energy and you can work more alone with that one or both or with others. So... When I'm doing my rituals and how I, oh, sorry, it's like really, it's opposite since this is my webcam. It's like everything's opposite for me. It's really annoying. Never do my makeup in my webcam. <laughs> That'll be bad. Um, but I usually view my deities watching over me when I'm doing my um, ritual, like high above me, sitting on sort of a cloud type thing poking their heads out, looking down at me, and I always see them like that. I don't know why. I think it comes from the Mount Olympus type thing and the God thing. You know, like he's always up on a cloud or whatever. But I always just see them always on some sort of a landing or a cloud looking down at me, helping me and aiding me through this ritual or spell I am doing. And, I don't know, recently I've been really wanting to relate to, um, the, the god as the sun and the goddess as the moon. Just working them like that instead of having just, like, Aphrodite or Bast or Poseidon or, um, Zeus. I was going to say like an Egyptian god, but I completely forgot the name I was going to choose. But, yeah. I've been starting to want to view him like that because it literally shows the god and the goddess really clear. Like, I view a mother as the moon. Like, the phases made a mother and crone. I always view them, view it like that. And, I don't know. I'm sorry if my, I'm messing with my hair a lot because I really hate this side. Always, always. Um, but, yeah, and I actually wrote this, I don't know if I wrote how I view them in my book, which I really think I should, so people can, people or my kids, if I ever have kids, oh my god, recently I've been not wanting kids at all. I've been watching my nephew, well not my nephew really, but my niece and my brother for three days straight after Christmas, gotta get that. And then my dad's not even in the picture right now. Um, it's really bad. And it's really annoying. And my life is like going downhill. So I hope this year, this new year brings it uphill. And hopefully my transition will bring it better. And my new dedication for Wicca. So, oh yeah. See you again, Miley Cyrus. How oh, good. And yeah, um, I wanted to do more of these, like, how I view things in Wicca, instead of just looking at a video on YouTube and then just putting my view on it. It's kind of annoying and used, so I feel like I should just do, uh, like, how I view things. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and let's be.